I mean, I got another video for you guys. Um, I was thinking about cleaning out the intake manifold. I didn't want to go through the whole process of opening because it's, it's, it's really dirty in there. But um, it's real crazy out here today. So I didn't want to go through this whole process of, of you know, doing all of this and, you know, taking off everything and taking off the throttle body and all that. Yeah, I know y'all say if you're going to start a job, you might as well finish it. I understand 110%. So what I did was I unplugged the ignition coils here. There's two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts here on the steering, on the rail, on the, yeah, the rail here. So you just take out the two 10s so you can get out the EGR valve. Now what I used is like, um, I used a swivel head, a swivel head um, to get to the bolts for the um, EGR valve. So I took out the EGR valve and right now I'm in the process of cleaning the ports but they seem clean because um what i did was i take off the valve cover i mean the the top of the valve the valve cover on the top so um it was just you know a couple of 10 millimeter bolts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven you just take those off and um let me see if i can kind of give you guys an example of And this gasket was under it. So you just take out these bolts that's here on the valve cover. I started cleaning the cover, that's why it's kind of leaking out here and stuff. But um uh, as soon as you take those bolts off, this cover comes right off. Make sure you get this one in the middle, right there too. And then um you'll see it sitting like this. And the gasket will be here. And then they'll have this that sits like this inside. It's very simple, this doesn't take long to do. Me, I'm just real tedious, so it's like, I wanna make sure I get it right. So it'll be sitting like this, and then there'll be two 10 millimeter bolts right here that's holding this, this valve piece down. And um, that lets you be able to see the hole. Once you take these two 10 millimeter bolts out, then you can pull out this piece. So what I'm doing is I'm in the process of cleaning out the carbon deposits in here. It's, it's, it's a lot, but it's not blocking the valve itself, but I'm still gonna clean it out anyways. And then there goes the hole that leads to the EGR valve hole here. You know, just preventative maintenance so you, you know it doesn't clog up. If you stay on top of it, it won't clog up and you won't have to worry about, you know, having to go through the whole process of taking the whole head off, I mean the whole, you know, intake manifold off and going through all of that. So um, basically the EGR valve is just those two bolts the 212 millimeter so once you take those 212s off but you got to push the rack to the side in order to get good clearance to take out the EGR valve so once you take out the EGR valve you take out those 10 millimeter bolts on the top take out those this is what you'll see with this right here so like I showed you guys in the video take out the two 10 millimeter bolts clean this out if you can use like one of those um those um things that you use for the sink like the plastic things and just like you don't want to you know go too too deep because you don't want none of the little plastic pieces to fall out in there make sure it's a good one and just scrub it out and spray it with a uh, throttle body cleaner and spray, okay and scrub it out and then um just put this back in tighten down the two telling bolts and then um put the e-gel valve back on and start up the car and it should be it should be good to go. If you guys have any questions, this is just preventative maintenance. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks. So, right now, as you can see, what I've been doing is uh, spraying the inside. And what I did was I had a dry wet bag that I put in the opposite direction. So instead of putting it in the front to pick up to suction, I put it in the back. For vac, for vac, for uh, blowing. So it's blowing hard. And what I'm gonna do is blow into this hole here and spray some throttle body cleaner, and then it's gonna come out here. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna try to do everything in one hand. I'm gonna spray in here and watch it. I'm gonna spray right here in this hole. And it's gonna come out here. So now what I'm going to do is 
the turn on the back. Cleaning out these EGL valve ports are very, very important to keep the car running nice. Definitely cleaned out inside there more. things everywhere now. These are all clean already. It's not going to double carbon deposits. So this is what I did. And then put everything back. Now that you finish cleaning that out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like and subscribe.